Before we get into the mods themselves, let me quickly explain how I'm installing these mods and more importantly, why I'm using a mod loader. When you're modding Bloodborne on chat PS4, modifying the game files directly is permanent. There's no clean install or reset option. Once you overwrite files, uh, you're stuck with those changes unless you manually reinstall the game or keep backups, uh, which can be a huge hassle. That's why I highly recommend using a mod loader and specifically I use the Bloodborne Launcher and Mod Manager from Nexus Mods. It's designed for this exact purpose to let you enable or disable mods without touching the original game files. This way, if something breaks or causes issues, you can simply toggle it off instead of digging through folders or reinstalling everything. I actually made a separate video showing exactly how to set up and use the Bloodborne Launcher and Mod Manager, so if you want a step-by-step -step walkthrough, be sure to check that out. I've linked it in the description and in the top right corner of the screen. Before we get the mods, we want to open the mods folder of Bloodborne Mod Launcher. Okay, the first mod that I'm going to show you is called Reshade for Shad PS4 and FPS Boost. This one is a huge help for performance, especially if your system struggles with heavy lighting or map details in Bloodborne. What it does is remove certain environmental elements like lighting effects, reflections, map geometry, and shadows. Now this mod comes in multiple versions. There is a standard version and also a light version. Uh, which is perfect if you want a good FPS boost without sacrificing too much visual quality. I use the standard version in this video tutorial because I don't have a very good system. When you open the FPS boost mod uh, zip file, you'll see a bunch of folders that are actually derived from the map folder, which is one of the main folders of the game. So in order to install this mod correctly, I'm going to create a folder in my uh, mods folder. You can name it whatever you want. And then I'm going to create a folder called map which is one of the main folders of the game. And then I'm going to extract all of the folders within the zip file into this folder. If you don't get why I am creating a folder named map, uh, you should head back and watch my tutorial on how to use this map manager. Next up is a mod called reduced physics by Kioski, if I'm pronouncing that right, and it's one of the most effective mods for improving stability and performance. In chat PS4, Havoc physics, especially things like cloth physics, put a big load on your RAM and VRAM. This mod removes or limits those uh, physics calculations, which helps reduce stutters and memory related slowdowns. This mod has three main versions. Uh, one is full cloth, uh, which keeps uh, cloth physics, but um, removes some map effects. Half cloth keeps it only on your character and no cloth physics removes it entirely. If you want the best performance, then you want to go with no cloth physics. The zip file of this mod includes a folder called mtd which is one of the main folders of the game so you want to create another folder rename it and extract the zip file inside this folder the third mod is enemy ragdoll removal and while it might seem small it definitely helps improve performance normally when enemies die their bodies use ragdoll physics which continue to eat up RAM and VRAM, especially when there are a lot of enemies around. This mod simply disables that ragdoll effect, making enemy bodies behave more like static objects. 
and the result is less strain on your system especially in areas with lots of enemies or long battles. In order to install the mod, you just extract the folder within the zip file into your mods folder. The next mod is Performance Draw Params by Kioski. And for this video, I'm using the version that disables anti-aliasing, SSAO, color grading, depth of field, and other post-processing effects. By disabling them, this mod frees up GPU resources and gives you a noticeable FPS boost, especially in visually busy areas. There are also other versions of this mod in the mod page that you can check out. The installation is pretty simple, just drag your desired mod from the zip file into the mods folder. Finally, the last mod is Downscaled Bloodborne which helps improve performance and reduce VRAM usage by lowering texture resolution. At this moment, there are three versions of this mod. The Downscaled 25% and 50% only reduce map textures, but the 64 by 64 version goes much further by downscaling everything weapons armor enemies and even objects the 64x64 64 64 version gives you the biggest performance boost but it also comes with the most noticeable visual downgrade still if you're running on a low-end system or need every bit of memory saved, uh, this can make a real difference. Just remember the size of these uh, texture mods are pretty large from 3 GB to 5 GB depending on what you download and the installation is pretty simple. For example, I downloaded the uh, downscale 25% so I'm going to create a folder called downscale 25% and I'm going to extract all the folders within the zip folder into this uh, newly made folder. As an honorable mention, you can also try the Bloodborne Visual Tweak uh, slash FPS Boost by FromSoft Serve. This mod works almost the same as the first mod that I recommended and is designed to significantly boost FPS by removing grass, ground clutter, fake distance meshes, and by disabling shadow casting on enemies, objects, and map pieces. These two mods, the first mod and this mod, can be overridden by each other, uh, meaning you want to choose one of them over another based on uh, which mod you prefer. Although you can install both of them, but you're not going to get the benefit of both these mods combined. For activating the mods, you want to head back to the mod launcher and click on mod manage. Then you want to activate each mod one by one. As you can see here, when I want to activate the prompts of SERP's FPS boost, it gives me an error regarding the files overwriting the first FPS boost mod. For the sake of this tutorial, I just proceeded with overwriting this mod, but I would recommend to only stick to one of them. On the side note, if you get one of the folders wrong uh, you will bump up to this error so make sure you extract the right folder into the mods folder after you're finished click close and now you can launch the game and enjoy the best performance you can get from bloodborne